My name is Enrique Martinez Alaya, and I live in LA. I was born in Cuba, raised in Spain, and Puerto Rico, and came to America for college and grad school. I create environments of paintings and sculptures, sometimes photographs and videos for galleries and museums. And my work is often influenced or in conversations with poetry and philosophy, and, uh, and science as well. Usually my work begins with writings. So I do a number of writings. And the writings, again, are not for content. The writing is for um, understanding the territory where I'm standing. And once I understand that, I know how to approach the works. In the four quartets, I'm interested in the relationship of time, uh, particularly the circularity of time and the unredeemable nature of time. These are concerns that have been in my work for a long time, but T.S. Eliot does such a profoundly beautiful job in talking about time in this way. I also like how he converts landscape into time by using the seasons. So the seasons immediately invoke movement of time, but also invoke, involve locations and different uh, moments in those locations. Knowing with the line between an influence and my, and my, my own imagination is where that line, that line exists is very difficult to know. I remember reading that Wittgenstein said he never uses footnotes because he said everything I'm writing I took from somewhere else. And I, and I very much feel that the, I see Eliot in all these works, but I am in all these works also. What's interesting to me is, is the question of what we are when we have taken everything that we are out of that, what is left. And I think uh, the aspect of self-negation in relationship to time, the disappearance of ourselves, the sense of the fragility of human experience compared to the large questions uh, of the world questions of infinity or questions of continuity of universal movements against our own tiny experience of 60, 70 years seem to be very, very important. And, and self-negation comes with the recognition of our insignificance, and that was exciting for me. External sources have, have always been important to me because my interest in, in every field, but especially philosophy and poetry. People tend to think of science as, as a necessity and art as a luxury. And I saw it the opposite. I thought that life is so short, that the questions that I wanted to address was so urgent that I couldn't stay in the lab all day long dealing with lasers and let these questions for another day, maybe when I retire. I think I needed to deal with them. So I wanted the questions of truth, which are also in science, but of a different nature of truth. Physics and math are always around in my head. I think once you are trained a certain way, you can't let it go. And I think, for example, my concern with time is, is such a physics idea, time. And, and physicists have wrestled with time, so we have our own human time, existential time, but there, there's also physics time. And, and the notion of potential, what is what is possible, what is to the certain prediction of what is to come uh, is very important to me from physics. But what I find very interesting um, about the quartets in relation to this question is that by this notion that in my end is my beginning, it sort of collapses the potential and brings it to now. So what is to be is already here. I know that this, all these words I use are problematic, like authenticity is something that is in the 21st century we like to laugh at, but I still very much think that that is the, the key question in art. Well, in physics, your analytical tools actually bear results. In here, all, the best you can do is kind of suggest where things may be, but there's no way you can point to it. And that's what brought me to our, our are, was a necessity for me. Uh, so, I know it sounds cliche, but in fact it was. I felt that 
I understood so little about what mattered in the world, what mattered to me, that I needed to, to make work to understand things better.